Hello ladies and gentlemen. Well guys, I think Portland is actually collapsing. It's starting to fall apart. There's crime everywhere. People are leaving in mass. It's just not going good. And um, I think that when you make cities like this, when you run cities like this, it's just not a good thing. You have, you get, end up getting decay, destruction, um, what have you, and you're not, you're not trying to keep the people safe. And this is the problem that we have with these very far left, you know, type of cities and what have you. They're just not, the policies are not great and people tend to leave. The problem is that, unfortunately, a lot of people that are in Portland are very far left or left leaning. So they're going to other pastures, um, which would mean other states. Hopefully they can just... Hopefully they will just stay there and not corrupt any other state. Luckily, some are going to Washington, so thank God for that. They'll get to corrupt the same state that they get to go to, which is, you know, good. They went to the same places that, you know, get to have the policies that they have. Uh, of course, they'll probably end up soon finding out that they're, uh, the place that they moved to is not great, and they'll probably move to another corrupt area without realizing that the that their the reasons why that place is going to a complete, absolute dumpster fire is because of, well... Um, I would say their own policies. But I digress. Take a look at this actual clip of what's going on in Oregon and uh, how bad it's been. It's, it's not going too great here. High taxes in homeless camps. They're seemingly everywhere, but they've got folks in Portland, Oregon fleeing. The population plunging in a downward spiral after decades of rapid growth. Dan Springer's got more on all of this. When is the last time that Portland actually lost population, Dan? Yeah, John, it was 1987, uh, and that was a one-year blip. So Portland really has been on a roll for four decades, and now they've lost population three years in a row, and experts are predicting a fourth. And the people they're leaving now tend to be on the liberal side and high-income earners, earners. Katie Schneider fits that description. She moved to Washington State with her husband and two young kids after several years of rising gun violence. In back-to-back -back years, the city set records for homicides. One took place right next to her house. She says every person on her block has now left. There was like everybody moved and it was because of all of these things like the the school wasn't great. There is, you know, all the unrest in Portland is um, and it didn't feel like things were being managed. In addition to record murders, Portland has also set new records for car theft with 11,000 and for vandalism with property damage of $19 million. Drug use is out of control. In 2021, the city gave out more than 6 million needles and 177,000 were picked up on the streets. These same problems are driving businesses away. Walmart is closing its only two stores in Portland this month and Nike closed a huge store in the city over brazen shop. Yeah, so Portland is not doing too great here. It's uh, it, it's pretty much falling and falling down, and uh, all these other issues. And what we have here is this simply going on: is that we have this report right here to where it, it is kind of like a big deal. Like, look, look at this. It's like we have back in the 1920s, all the way through the 19. I would want to say even. Mm, uh, 1950s, they've gained a massive amount of population. But ever since then, the 1960s throughout, they've been losing population. And it's been rapidly declining, or slowly declining, not rapidly, but slowly declining over the years. And it's gone down to 639,000 in 2020. Now, that's a problem to be the case, as, as we all know, since uh, the mere fact that we have this is... The eastern part of, of, of Oregon wants to separate itself. It wants to become Greater Idaho. And that's no real laughing matter either because for, uh, for Oregon. So it's a content to be a problem. And then you have this as well that we want to just kind of like go over. Where Oregon has this population growth. And what we see here is not what we would normally want to see in this uh, Pacific climate, right? It's what we have is what we have is Oregon pandemic population growth. It says we have from the 2012, they were steadily up between you know uh, 
going up between around 70,000 so give or take people but uh, now uh, when we reach the 2020s especially in the 2022 they've decreased around between between last 2020 to 10,000 to 20,000 people and it's Predicted it still go down. It doesn't look like it's going to go up or anything. Um, I mean, it looks like it is going up, but I think that's just like a run of consensus. But it, but this is not looking good for Oregon. And if this is the way it is, then, oh, well, it's not great. And it gets worse because when as soon as you move into Oregon, this happens. Vacuuming glass from grass. A huge pain in the absolute worst moment. Just moved in, fresh to the neighborhood. That Jake Kelly could have imagined. The driver's side front window was bashed in. Jake and his girlfriend discovered the damage Friday morning, along with dozens of other broken car windows. So I come out, broken. Unbelievable. Manuel Bernal made his feelings clear on the tarp covering his broken window, calling the vandals haters, cowards, and lazy. Just people that are just ignorant. There's no respect for other people's property. Most of the damage is scattered along Southeast 62nd on both sides of Foster and several other surroundings. So yeah, when you go to Oregon, I guess expect for your cars to get broken into and stuff like that and all these other problems. And you'll be living in not be able to control the violence. So yeah, I think Oregon is collapsing. As I said before, it's becoming a third world state. And I think it's going to happen in a lot of these uh, states that they don't actually fix their stuff. Um, we're also seeing the legalizing uh, drugs was a horrendous idea. Wow, that's a shocker. So uh, I think it comes down to the fact that there's a severe, serious problem in Oregon. They need to fix the problems. And the only way they're going to fix the problems is if they actually vote differently, which they probably never will. So Oregon will remain to be a hellhole until they find somebody else that will actually try to f guide them into the right direction. Oh, well. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care.